What's up everyone? So this video we're going to be going over the Q School qualifiers from a few weeks ago. We're going to have a look at all of them and obviously last weekend was the first players championships. So we're going to have a look and see how the players did and how they got on. So stick around, like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're brand new. And let's see how the new PDC players have got on. Okay, so we're going to start off with Jason Lowe. First tournament, he lost 6-5 to Gerwin Price. Second tournament, he beat Matthew Edgar. Then he beat John Henderson. Then he beat Dave Chisnell. Then he lost to the eventual winner, Nathan Aspinall. So John Lowe had a pretty pretty good first first week. Gary Blades, first tournament, beat Peter Chacks in the first round and then lost 6-0 to Peter Wright. And then in the second tournament, he lost 6-4 to Dirk Telmex. Kai Fung Leong, first tournament, lost 6-0 to Adrian Lewis. Not a great start there, but it is Adrian Lewis. Second tournament, he beat Stefan Sipman 6-0, so he got one back. And then he lost 6-4 uh, to Jermaine Watamina, which is, like, respectable. Bradley Brooks didn't get a win this weekend, unfortunately, for him. Him, but first tournament lost 6-3 to Ted Evitz and in the second tournament lost 6-3 to Martin Clearmaker. Jeff Smith started off about as good as he probably could have done. Uh, first tournament he beat Dave Chisnell, then he beat Reese Robinson, then he beat Dirk Van Duvenbode, then he beat Nathan Aspinall, then Peter Wright, then Brendan Dolan and then in the final lost to Gary Anderson. So that was the first tournament and then the second tournament uh, he beat... Darren Penhall first round, then he beat Daryl Gurney, then he beat Danny Noppert, then he lost to Dirk Van Duvenbode. So, very, very impressive from Jeff for his first weekend as a tour card holder again. Let's hope we see some more of that from him. Next up, we have Aaron Beanie. Now, he's the guy who didn't have the best Q school and then had a crazy day and got through. Uh, I think these stats kind of show that a little bit. Uh, first tournament, he lost 6-1 to Joe Cullen with a 69 average. Second tournament, he lost 6-2 uh, to Steve Bunting with a 75 average. So, not the start he would have liked, but he's on the Pro Tour, so what can I, what can I say? I mean, I'm never going to be there, so whatever. Next up, we've got Nick Kenny. Uh, first tournament, he beat Kirk Shepard, then he beat Josh Payne, then he beat Ryan Meikle, and then in the last 16, he lost to Joe Cullen. And then in the second tournament, he beat Rob Collins first round and then lost to Peter Wright in the second round. So, good start for Nick. Scott Waits, first tournament, he uh, beat Jan Decker and then he lost to Darren Webster. And in the second tournament, he beat Vincent van der Boort, then he beat Gert Nentes, and then he beat Ian White, and then he lost to Ross Smith. So, there's some decent players in there that he beat. So, good start for Scott. Next was Adam Hunt. Uh, first tournament, he beat Andy Bolton, then he beat Danny Noppet. And then he lost to Mickey Mansell, who was having a very good day. Uh, and then in the second tournament, he beat Simon Stevenson and ended up losing to um, Danny Noppert in the last 64. Next was Ryan Murray. So in the first tournament, he lost to Danny Noppert uh, in the first round. He had a 97 half average, so he's just unfortunate to be really there. Danny must have played quite well. And then in the second tournament, he beat Dimitri Vandenberg, which is a good win for anyone. And then lost to Mickey Mansell. Next up, we have Peter Jacks. First tournament, he lost to Gary Blades first round. And in the second tournament, he beat Max Hop 6-0. And then lost to Nathan Aspinall, who ended up winning the tournament 6-4. So next up is Damon Heater. And he beat uh, Gert in the first round of the first tournament. And then lost to Michael Van Gerwen, which is respectable, because it is Michael Van Gerwen. And in the second tournament... Lost first round to Mensa Sulevich. So Andy the Hammer Hamilton is back again. First tournament lost to Simon Whitlock. Second tournament beat Joe Cullen, which is a good result, and then lost to Kirk Shepard in the in the last 64. Next up is Alan Tabern, and he beat James Wilson first round and then lost to Steve Brown. In the second tournament, he lost first round to Ian White. Next, we have Wayne Jones. So he beat Joe Mernon, then he beat Keegan Brown, then he lost to Nathan Aspinall. In the second tournament, he beat Michael Barnard and then lost to Steve Beaton. William Borland, uh, he won 6-0 in his first round. First ever PDC um, tour card match. He won it 6-0, beating... Uh, Marco Cantele, and then he lost uh, to Ryan Meikle, 6-4. Second tournament, he lost to Dirk Van Duvenbode, 6-2. Next up, we have Martin Atkins. For the first tournament, he lost 6-1 to Matthew Edgar, and then he beat James Wilson in the second tournament, and then lost 6-0 to Glenn Durrant. Steve Brown had a good weekend. Uh, first round, he beat James Wade, 6-5. Uh, second round, he beat Alan Tabern, 6-5. Third round, he beat Kieran Tien, 
6-5. And then the fourth round, the last 16, he lost to Mike Kuvenhoven. Uh, I don't know if I've said that right or not. I'm just going to guess. 6-3. Uh, and then the second tournament, he beat uh, Harold Lettinger and then lost to Keegan Brown in the second round. Next up, we have Darren Penhall. So he beat Steve West first round and then lost to Mike Van Duvenbode. And in the second tournament, lost first round to Jeff Smith. Lisa Ashton's next, and she's our first ladies PDC Q Skull qualifier. And uh, first round, she lost to Brendan Dolan, who had a good day. And then second round, second day, uh, she lost to... She, she beat Christian Bunt 6-3 with 100 average to get her first win on the board and then uh, lost to Darius Lavanaskis in the second round. So, good start. Um, Harold Lessinger. So, he didn't play in the first tournament. In the second tournament, he lost first round to Steve Brown. Mike Decker was unfortunate, really, I think. Uh, first, round, first tournament, lost 6-5 to Rob Cross. Played quite well, 94.5 average. And in the second tournament, he beat Kieran Tian 6-4 uh, and then lost to Michael Van Gogh. And so... Rob Cross and Van Gogh, and two of the best players in the world. Kind of a sucky draw, but he's, he's played well. He's had some good averages. Next up, we have Carl Sedlak. He beat uh, Kim Hybrick's first round. Then he beat Mervyn King, and then he lost eventually in the board finals to Darren Webster. In the second tournament, he lost uh, first round to Michael Smith. And then next we have uh, Stefan Sipman. Uh, he lost 6-3 to Barry Bates in the first tournament, first round. And then he lost 6-0 to Kai Fang Leong in the second tournament as well, first round. So no wins for him. Dirk van Duvenbode. So he's another person who had a good tournament, a uh, good weekend. Uh, first game, he beat Vincent Van der 6-1. Then he beat Ted Evitz 6-1. And then he lost 6-4 to Jeff Smith, who ended up getting to the final. And then the second tournament, he beat William Borland 6-2, then Ricky Evans 6-3, then Glenn Durant 6-1, then Jeff Smith 6-5, then Ross Smith 6-4, and then lost to Gerwin Price in the semi-finals 7-4. So he done really well. Next, we have Wesley Harms. Uh, he won his first match, beating Jamie Lewis 6-4, uh, and then lost to Glenn Durant. And then in the second tournament, he beat Robbie John Rodriguez 6-5, and then lost to Jose de Sosa. So he got himself two wins which is a decent start for him. Next is Dirk Telnix. Now, he beat Martin Schindler 6-5. Then he beat Jeffrey Deswan 6-5. And then he lost 6-4 to Adrian Lewis in the first tournament. And then the second tournament, he beat Gary Blades 6-4. And then lost 6-3 to Steve West. Martin Clearmaker, first tournament, beat Jose de Sosa first round. Then he beat Matthew Edgar in the second round. Then he lost to Conan Whitehead in the third round. And in the second tournament, he beat Bradley Brooks. And then lost to Ross Smith. So, good few wins there for him. Daniel Larson, he beat Johnny Clayton first round of the first tournament, then lost 6-0 to Conan Whitehead. And then in the second tournament, lost 6-3 to Luke Woodhouse. And then Boris Kramer uh, lost both his matches, uh, losing to Gabriel Clemens 6-4 and then Adrian Lewis 6-4. And then last but not least, we have Christoph Quick. I'm going to say that's his name. He didn't win a game either. He lost 6-5 uh, to Nathan Aspinall and then lost 6-2 to Keegan Brown. So... After all of that, let's have a look at how everyone's doing money-wise in the rankings. So I believe out of all those players, 27 actually made money. There's only a few of them who didn't win any money this weekend. So top of the list, we have Jeff Smith in number one place. He obviously reached the final. He got £7,500. Uh, then Dirk Van Duvenbode got 4000 in second place. Nick Kenny, 2000 joint third place with Steve Brown and Scott Waits. Uh, Jason Lowe, Wayne Jones, Adam Hunt, Mike Van Duvenbode, Martin Clearmaker, Dirk Telnex. Uh, they all got £1,500. And then um, Sedlak and Wesley Holmes both got a grand. Everyone else won one game and got £500. So that is it, guys. That is how the newly qualified PC Q School qualifiers got on in their first week as a professional. Or their first week as a professional again because some of these have had tour cards before but anyway guys if you found this interesting or anything like that leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are brand new thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one